All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the wake up and start your day call for October 28th. We're here. It's a Monday morning, and I just want to make sure that I have the telephone line on. All right. Boom. It's all set up. All right, guys. Well, I just want to welcome everyone here. Um, give a couple shout outs to some regulars, Deb and Bob, Jamie for being here. Um, I know Jane's here, like always. So welcome to everyone. Um, we're going to let people pop on just for a minute here. I want to say good morning to Bill and welcome Bill Pesca Salida to the call. Good morning, hey, Bill. Hey, Bert. How's it going? Good morning. Oh, maybe I have my... Can you hear me? Let's see if I have something. I can't hear anything. Uh oh. I can hear you. No, I I mean I can hear you, but you're just really muted. Really? Yeah. Let me hear it. Maybe Patricia. Patricia, can you talk? Yeah, I think so. Can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. What's uh, up? Hey Patricia. Hi. I'm hanging out at my mom's house this morning, so I figured I would hop on with my new iPhone. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Yeah, buddy. Guys, I'm a little technically challenged. I was like, why is it so muffled? My, I was, I was listening last night on my computer to like one or two in the morning, so my headphones were still plugged in, so I was hearing the headphones from like four feet above me. Wow. So you can see, I know, you can see everyone that's here this morning, welcome. You can see that obviously you don't have to be a rocket scientist to be able to work from home. And, you know, build a successful business. So I want to jump into this morning's call. Welcome, Patricia. Um, today's Mindset Monday, guys. And I want to d jump into some, some uh, you know, I want to get serious for a minute and, and share some powerful stuff that I think can change the way that you're doing things. And, and I hope that it can. I know it's changed the game for me. It's changed the picture. It's changed exactly what I'm doing. And I want to be able to share that with you. And so before we, okay, so just I just want to have everyone's permission. So if you're on this call and you don't want it to be like this is going to be like Bill talks about punch you in the face. If you don't want that, you should just hang up, exit out of the hangout, go to like a different place. Because this morning's call is about, and I talked earlier about last week we talked about the the MVP, right? This this idea that there's there's multiple versions of the perspective that you're taking, and so I wanted to do like another little analogy for for MVP, and the very first one for the M is make a decision, and this is this is absolutely 100%, and this is my belief, guys, and maybe it's different for you, but this is my experience. You need. You need to, I had to, everyone it seems that has had actual success in life, and not just in our industry, in across the board, they've had to come to a place where they made a decision, okay? And this is, okay, this is the vital part, is what a decision is. A decision is a conclusion or it's a resolution after consideration. That's it. It means you've considered something and now, now you've come to resolution. Now you've made a decision. You have decided. Okay, this is where it's the punch in the face. Most people haven't decided. That's the bottom line. What are you going to decide? Are you going to finally decide that you're worth it? Right? Like, are you going to decide that it's your time? That it's that this is what you want to do? Because check this out. Only you can decide. I had to make a decision. Right? My decision didn't look the same as Bill's decision. My, de my decision isn't the same decision that Patricia had to make. Why? Because you, every one of us is individual. You have to make a decision. I had to make a decision. Right? And then what happens once we make a decision? Once we literally come to that conclusion, we find resolution, then we have to take, this is the V, guys, we have to take very focused action. Right? If we make a decision that we're going to go to this supermarket, we don't get in our car and drive to the BP gas station. Because we made a decision that we needed to go to the grocery store. 
So we get in our car and we take focused action, right? We go to the grocery store. There's nothing different about quote unquote, right? There's the air quotes, guys, your life than what you're doing to build your business, to what you're going to do to build this online. This is it. This is your life. So make that decision. The second part is take very focused action. Here's the P, the power of your purpose. If you've made a decision and you have a purpose and you take these actions daily, this is daily, right? And maybe for you, maybe in your business, daily action or persistent action looks like every other day because you're a fireman and you work 12 on, 12 off. What I'm saying is once you make a decision, you have to follow it with action. It has to be persistent. It has to be consistent. If those three things are not completed, everything will not fall into place. Everything doesn't come into fruition. This isn't just my, okay, this is my opinion, but th it's not just my opinion. This is my experience, and this is what I see in every single person. Look around and look at all the people that you see in life that are succeeding. They made a decision, they took focused action, and they did it repetitively. That's it. Everyone wants a secret formula, like I'm going to call Bill Pescasolito. He He's married to Michelle. They're going to give me the key to the Facebook machine. I'm going to turn it on, and 10 million people are going to join me next week. And that's not, that's not the deal. That's not how it works, buddy. Right? Michelle worked hard. If you come to these hangouts, you listen to Bill. He's talking about Michelle staying up overnight sometimes. She's in her pajamas working. Right? Why? Because Michelle made a decision. She came to the resolution that she was going to do this. She had a specific, focused set of actions. She did it consistently to the point that her husband was like, what's going on? Why is she staying up all night? This is kind of freaky, right? But check this out. By putting those three things together, look what happened. That's the deal. People, you guys want like the real deal? You want the warning wake-up call to be like, hey, give us some real tips? That's the real tip, right? Why did Patricia have a successful blog? Everyone's like, who's Patricia? How does so many people, why is she getting leads on her blog? Why? Well, she wanted to find out about blogging. She made a decision that she was going to learn how to blog. She took very focused actions. She followed it with persistent behavior. That was it. She learned it. She did it. That is the secret. And you have to do it persistent over and over and over again. So that's Mindset Monday. I know. It's rough. Like, wow, Bert, we thought it was going to be like, like roses and you're going to shower rainbows, but this is the good part. Now I'm going to give you the rainbows, right? This is where the unicorns fly in with wings. There's like angels flying all around them. If you do those three things every single time, right? If you do the, in every part of your life, you make a decision, you take focused action, you do it repetitively, you will have, like Bill says, you will get results. It doesn't matter what the results are. Guys, it does not matter. Already, it doesn't matter what the results are. Just the fact that you get results, you'll be like 185 million percent ahead of 98 percent of the rest of the people that you're you know, standing next to. Why? Because they didn't even take the action to get the results, right? So that's the fun part because when you get results, then you can, if they're good, awesome. And if they're not good, then you just say, oh, what do I do? I'm just going to change something. Because if you're getting results, that means things are happening. Activity, right? In our case, if you're getting results, you're getting leads, you're talking to people, you're just not getting the correct result. And that part, guess what? That part's easy. Because there's, you have a, here you go, boom, you show up, you got a guy like Bill Pesco Salido. That's his craft. That's what he's mastered. He can tell you how to talk to people, right? It, I mean, it's like it's like a no-brainer, guys. Wait till I tell you guys about the you don't have to figure it out rant that I have, okay? I need to go film that because everyone is trying to rant. You, you guys are all, everyone, even me, we're trying to figure these things out, and there's nothing to figure out. There is absolutely nothing to be figured out. It's already figured out. It's already done. Hey, it's already done for us. So... 
what do we have to do? We have to make a decision. You literally have to decide. After consideration, you come to resolution. Is this what you want to do? Do you want to work from home? Do you want to be your own boss? Do you want to have this alternative lifestyle other than whatever you're doing today? And if the answer is yes, after consideration, if the resolution inside of you is yes, then sit down, make a list to take very focused actions, right? And then start doing those things over and over and over again. You'll get results, and then you'll be able to move on from there. So we're going to transition into our team call, guys. I hope that it wasn't so punchy in your face that everyone was like, whoa, Bert, that was too much for us. I hope that you guys see how important it can be when you make a decision, literally. Like, I'm looking all around me at people that have made decisions and they have changed their lives, literally, right around them. They made a decision, they took, you know, they did the three steps, and boom, it's changed. So, this is the time in the call we transition, okay? This is the, the part where we go from this free daily coaching call to our team call. And we're all on the Torna Prosperity team, and that's with Evolve Health. And this is a time where now, if you're on the call, we're not going to kick you off, but this is where we talk about our team specific things. We're going to have team announcements. We're going to have things that are specific to our team. And this is when we usually um, pass it over to Mr. Bill, right, Pesco Salido, so that he can start with the team announcements because Bill's our team leader. Bill is, um, you know, Bill is an amazing leader, not just in Evolve, but online marketing. So if you're here, right, this, this is your opportunity this morning in the Q&A in this call to ask questions, right? This is your time so that later in the day you can be taking action steps and not calling and asking questions because you have the opportunity right now. All right, Bill. Blast we'll us. Are you sure you're done talking, Bert? I don't Damn. think so. No. I'm done. <laughs> all right. Um, well, I want to say, first of all, thank you, Bert, for that wake-up call. Um, that was absolutely by no means too much. Uh, I think everyone needs to hear that because everything you just said is absolutely 100% the truth. And if you were you know, seeing us here, hearing our voices, if that was too much for you, if that rattled you too much just then what Bert was saying, maybe this isn't for you, quite honestly. Now, I'm not suggesting that that was too much for any of you, but if there's, if there's someone on this call who's thinking, wow, that was really just too much, I can't handle that, oh boy, what have I got myself into, you're, you're, you're you're over your head. You shouldn't do this um, because what Bert just spoke was absolutely 100% the truth. It wasn't too harsh. It's a reality that we all need to just understand and absorb and realize and take action on. So awesome job, Bert. I was taking notes myself. Um, great way to start the Monday, and I'm sure everyone else agrees with that, you know, wholeheartedly. So great, good stuff. Awesome. Seriously. Thank you. Um, let's see. Let's do some uh, quick team announcements. Um, over the weekend, uh, Linda Richardson, she became one, two, three qualified. So Linda now is getting um, a lot of, if not all, of her monthly Evolve auto ship for free. Um, if not 100% free, she's getting it highly subsidized. And that's because she's referred in. She's got, she just you know, had a third retail customer come in. Um, and so for those of you that don't know, if you're new, um, this is a, a, a retail customer in contrast to a distributor. Uh, but every time you get your third retail customer, or, or for every increment of three retail customers you get, you get um, your auto ship with Evolve either 100% free um, or highly, highly subsidized, drastically reduced. So just by doing what we're supposed to be doing anyway, which is introducing people to Evolve, sharing the samples, talking about the products, sharing our story with people, just for doing what we're supposed to do, Linda, among a lot of the rest of us, is now getting her monthly auto ship for free. So congrats to Linda. Awesome job. And I highly encourage everyone here to do the same. Um, it's really a cool thing when your Evolve product comes to you and all you have to do is pay for just the, the taxes and shipping of the cost to get it to your door. Um, so when you start getting your product drastically reduced, you get some excitement there. You, you, it becomes a little bit more real in my opinion, and it makes you want to talk to even more people, and all that's doing is furthering your business. 
right? The more people you expose to Evolve, obviously the more people that are going to come on board. So congrats to Linda. Keep up the great work. And uh, for the rest of you, I strongly encourage you to get one, two free qualified as well because it's really cool and fun. Um, let's see. Uh, Patricia, do you have any um, updates or announcements to provide? No, I'm, I'm just, again, excited to see the, the action that the whole team is taking and really interacting, you know, with one another on on Facebook posts and, and even in um, groups, which has been kind of fun to see. You know, people are going in and, and, you know, actually interacting in some of the Facebook, variety of Facebook groups, and the team is just supporting each other as a whole online, you know, as the community that we are, and you know, guys, that's really what it's about is so that we can lock arms and run down the hill and do this together. And so just want to congratulate everyone for continuing on and, um, you know, showing everybody what the spirit of our team is all about. Awesome. Awesome. Good stuff. So let's see. I want to kind of continue. Um, well, first of all, if you're on our team um, and you have any questions right now, let's just open this up a little bit for a Q&A opportunity. And I know there might be a little bit of a delay, um, but if you have, you know, if you're on our team and you've got any questions at all right now um, in regards to Evolve from a marketing standpoint, you know, process standpoint, you know, bringing people in, you know, prospecting, recruiting, bringing them in, etc. Let's take a moment now for you to ask a couple questions, and we'll take like the next several minutes to do a live Q and A. How's that sound? Sounds good. I like it. All right. So fire away with your questions. Don't well, and while they're typing, because I know there's a, a few minute delay, I just want to say, yeah, that, I love that information this morning, Bert, too. It was awesome. And you know, the funny thing, we kind of touched on this a little bit last week, but that whole process that you go through, and like you said before, it's get whatever kind of result. You know, you have to get a result. And then that's where we can coach you from. And then it's, it's refining and getting better at your skill set. That's that next level, you know, and and I don't want to say you can get a guaranteed income, uh, a gar not a guaranteed income, a guaranteed result from the marketing efforts that you do, but the thing is, guys, the better you get, you can almost predict, you know, what's going to happen in your business because you would have been doing it for a while, so you have experience now, um, and that's exciting. So at this point now, you know, I can create ads and do different things that I'm doing in my marketing efforts and I can pretty much guarantee okay for my own self I, or I can predict um, that if I do this this and this I should get about this many leads or I should be able to send out this many presentations because I and the cool thing is that your numbers will increase as your skill increases but you've got to get started you know with the process for that to happen so I just you know just don't forget that part you know of it um, because that, that comes after it, but you're never going to get there. You're never going to get better. It's never going to improve so that your, your results become more significant um, if you don't do the process that Bert outlined this morning. Good stuff. Um, I, can't, I, wanna, I can't see questions, so just let me know. Yeah, no, Elliot had a question, but um, I don't think it's – I don't understand. Um, so here's what I want to talk about. Um, you know, and this is not to pick on a particular person um, or to call them out because it was totally understandable what happened. And this person's on the call, so I don't want to mention them by name for fear. I don't want to embarrass them, even though they shouldn't be embarrassed because they were taking action. Um, but I had an email exchange with someone on our team here over the last couple of days, and this person was reaching out to people on Facebook, um, you know, doing the, the, the right thing, reaching out to people on Facebook and trying to expose them to evolve. His process and his methodology was just slightly off. And I emailed this to him last night. Um, what this person was doing is they were private messaging uh, friends, Facebook friends, contacts, you know, whatever. And basically going in with the, hey, how are you doing? Here's what's going on with me. Um, oh, by the way, you know, I've been checking out these different businesses and you know, want to know if you're interested in this, da da da. And he was doing it all like in that very first private message. So in essence, the person on the receiving end was getting like this three paragraph long message all in one, which was, hello, here's an update on me, 
here's what's going on in my life, how are you doing, and then boom, right into the Evolve you know, pitch, so to speak. And I wanted to just kind of address that uh, because, you know, A, first of all, you know, you know who you are, this person. Again, I don't want to embarrass you. Um, first of all, you're taking action, right, which is good. So the, the most important thing is that you're doing something, and that's positive. So just, A, just recognize that. Congratulations. You got some results. That's what I always talk about. You got to do something and get some kind of results before I can step in and help you out. So this guy did something, he got some results, and I stepped in to help him out. Now, in this particular case, the results weren't that good. But that's positive because we were able to identify and isolate what he was doing wrong, and we could just tweak and refine it so that now he can move forward and do it in hopefully a more effective way. Right? So in the big picture thing here, it was a very positive, positive situation because we were very, I was able to very quickly identify um, make a few slight tweaks, help him re refine his strategy and process, and hopefully now moving forward, he'll get uh, better results. And the, the correction, really, the, the tweak and the refinement was instead of sending like a long paragraph or a two-paragraph message to someone that includes, hey, how you doing? Here's what's going on with me. What's going on with you? Blah, 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 blah. Evolve. Instead, make it more of a conversation. So start off by just saying, hey, we haven't spoken in a while. H how are things for you? And then you wait for that person to respond back. And if it takes an hour or a day or three days, I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. You have to do it. This it has to be a conversation. You have to um, sin you know, sincerely want to engage them in a conversation, not just go in to pitch them. So let's say you say, hey, long time no chat or long time no see. What's going on with you? And they come back and say, oh, here's what's going on with me, blah, blah, blah. Then you can say, awesome. FYI, here's what's been going on with me. You know, just had my second kid. You know, just had, you know, my, my big toe removed. You know, finally got rid of, you know, my gonorrhea. Whatever's going on with your life, you share that. And then, so you have a, a conversation back and forth, and you wait for them to reply. Just like if you were talking to someone face-to-face, -face, you would ask them a question, and then you would shut up and let them answer, right? Well, Facebook is no different, only in the sense that you might have to wait because they're not at their computer, right? But if you want to really do this kind of strategy effectively on Facebook, you have to have it a give-and-take conversation where you ask a question and they answer back, and then it's just like it would the flow of a conversation, it's just going to be drawn out much longer, right? Because they're not at their computer or you're not at your computer all the time. So what you eventually want to do, and, and Elliot said he was puking on people. Absolutely correct. This person, he was puking on the person. It was just like, blah, all in one thing. And you imagine if you're at a cocktail party and you run into, you bump into someone and they just like, throw up all over you, like blah, 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 all over you without even asking you a single question about you. You're going to be like, ugh, I hate when I run into, you know, Bernice at cocktail parties because all she does is just talk, 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 talk about herself and she never even asks me a question and engages me or listens to me. Like, you wouldn't like to talk to that person, right? So why would you do that on Facebook? You wouldn't and you shouldn't. So what you want to do is you want to kind of, have a conversation that's going to kind of travel around a bit. Like there's no set in stone path that this conversation will take because it's a conversation. It's fluid and dynamic, and you have to be nimble, and you have to kind of maybe react to what they're saying just like you would in a real live conversation with the person, right? Now, at a certain point, you're going to want to start asking maybe a question here or there when you say, how are things going, um, and they're saying this, that, and the other. Then you might at some point, you might say, hey, out of curiosity, would you be open to an additional income stream? Or out of curiosity, would you be open to checking out a project with, you know, doing a project with me? Or would you be open to checking out this thing that I just got involved with that's really cool? Right? And then you don't then just immediately put your link in there. You wait to have them respond back. Right? You get permission to move forward. Because they might be like, no. I don't want to touch anything you're doing with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> you know, they might say that. I don't know. And that's okay. That's when you say, hey, fair enough, and you can move on. 
right? This is why we're talking to five or ten people a day because you're going to have more people saying no or not right now or no thank you or you know I'm, I'm, all, I'm all good at the moment and then you're going to have out of those ten that are that you're talking to seven are saying yeah and you have three that are like sure let me take a look right so then you move forward with those three this is the numbers game right? this is the definition of the numbers game we're not reaching out to ten people on Facebook because we anticipate sending out ten links I mean, that would be amazing if it happened, but I'm telling you, it's not going to happen, right? Only if you're doing it the wrong way will it happen. Only if you're throwing up on people will that happen. <laughs> if you're doing it the right way, you'll have a conversation in which maybe three out of ten ends up with them saying, sure, I'd love, I'd love to take a look at that. Send it on over. Then you have those three to move forward with. Those were the seven out of the ten that you just say, great, it's been great catching up with you. You know, enjoy whatever it is that you do, right? Um, so I just kind of wanted to touch on that because it's very important that whether you're, and it's the same thing talking to someone face to face. You don't just throw up your evolve opportunity. You engage them. You know, you ask them some questions. You peel away the layers of the onion. You know, clearly in your mind, you've got an end game in mind. If it works out that way, yes, you're kind of going in with an agenda, meaning you're trying to see if they're open to checking out Evolve. That should really be the agenda, to see if they have a pain that you can provide a solution to, to see if they're open to checking out Evolve. Right? That's the agenda. The agenda shouldn't be, I'm going to send them my link. The agenda should be, is there room for us to move forward with this conversation in a meaningful Evolve kind of manner? Right? And be very open-minded to the fact that it might not get to that point. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Right? The reason why... Uh, if the reason why if someone has a bad taste in their mouth or a bad connotation about network marketing is because of people throwing up all over them. It's because of bad network marketers. It's not because of network marketing. It's because of bad network marketers who have done it the wrong way for so many times, so many years. Don't be that bad network marketer. Be open and totally cool and accepting of the fact that they might not want to get involved. And that's okay. You just walk away. Right? Don't become addicted to the outcome. Instead, become addicted to your routine because your routine you can control. The outcome you can't control. Now, you can get better at your routine. You can become more effective. You can hone your craft and hone your skills. And you talk to so many people now that you've got it all dialed in. You're still going to get people saying no. It's still going to be a numbers game. You just may have improved your numbers. You know, instead of one out of every ten, you're now two out of ten or three out of ten. Right? That's what's going to improve. So hone your craft, you know, own it, you know, get better at this, uh, gain more, you know, experience, get more notches on the belt, right? You only get that experience and, and improve by talking to a lot of people and figuring out what's going to work for you and what's not. But don't become addicted to the outcome, right? You can't control the outcome. You can't force the outcome. You can't make them have pain. You can't make them want to join Evolve. You can't make them look at your link. All you can do is see if they're open. And if you're not finding enough people that are open, you gotta find more people. <laughs> I mean, if you if you're not if you don't if you're saying, gosh, I only have three people that are open, well then talk to more people. Right? When I was selling Kirby vacuum cleaners, the only answer was to knock on more doors. If I wasn't getting into enough houses, the only choice was to knock on more doors. That's it. And that's what we gotta do as well. You just quote unquote knocking on more doors. Sending out more private messages to more of your contacts on Facebook. Going to more networking events you know, locally in your area. Um, doing whatever you know, the marketing method is you're doing, you're, you just got to do more of it. You have to have more irons in the fire constantly because you never know who's going to drop out and who's going to say, yes, I'm, 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 I'm more interested. Right? So you got to keep adding irons in the fire. Keep knocking on more doors. Keep talking to more people. Keep going to more meetings. Um, keep spreading the word more on Facebook. Keep exposing more people to the fact that you are in Evolve Health. Some will be interested and some won't. It's just that simple. Yeah. So I hope that kind of helps. That's my little um, tidbit for the morning. No, that's awesome. Thank you for that. I mean, and it's so important, isn't it? Um, I, that, that's, that's it, guys. The, the art of the conversation, right? The art of the chat is essentially what Bill just broke down for you. And the way that I... I'll make two points and I'll try to be fast so Bert can um, close us out here because I know it's at 11. But the way that I make sure 
I'm, I'm doing, I'm moving forward properly in the conversation with people is not only do I want to find out if there's room to move forward in the conversation, but I actually need to feel or I need to see or I need to identify. That's probably the better. That's, I, I need to identify why they would want to ha be in an evolved business, right? Because I, I want to be able to show them hey, you just said that you want to be able to spend more time with your kids. Hey, you just said you guys are really struggling, haven't been on vacation for a while because you're really struggling to pay off credit card debt. Or hey, you just said you're working 80 hours a week and you're tired of it. You know, that's one of the reasons that I got into this or that's one of the reasons that my good friend Bert is doing this, you know, it's, and it's been an amazing fit for him. Would you like to talk to him about it? Maybe, you know, if you're interested in exploring, a, you know, and maybe growing this thing like we are, I can let you chat with him and see how it's working out for him. You know, and that's almost how, that's kind of how I try to identify people with our teammates, like we talked about before with the three-way calls. So how do you do that though? Like, how do you get to a place where you've been able to identify why Evolve and our team is a good fit for someone? You know, maybe they're struggling with their other company they're in and they're getting no results because they have no upline support and they don't do daily webinars, right? Like whatever it is. Um, and that's, you hear that a lot. That's a lot of the reason that people like to work with us because we do, we're so supportive and we have so many trainings and our, our private Facebook group and all that stuff. So I use the Ford method, which is family, occupation, recreation, and dream. Okay. So I'll say that again, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. When you're chatting with someone, Bill even did the hand motions, right? It's back and forth. It's back and forth. It's back and forth. I essentially don't even bring up my, even if they ask me what I'm doing and they're like, Hey, cause you know, you're like, Hey, how are you? And you're, you're like, I'm great. And you're like, how are you doing? How, what have you been up to? When they ask me that question, I lead my own self with family, you know, a little bit about my occupation. I kind of skip over that. I go into my recreation and my dreams. And then I talk about my occupation. Right. And, and that's kind of, I actually kind of rearrange it, but those are the four areas that you want to hit on um, and make sure you're chatting about those four areas, basically get an update from them and those four areas of their life, because in those four areas, a need should surface. If it's someone that you know, and they're comfortable speaking to you, then a need will surface and you can easily say, Oh, well, your family, blah, 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 not enough time. Here's a solution that I found for that your occupation, you hate your boss, you're tired of TPS reports and, you know, sitting in traffic. Here's a solution for that. Do you have a plan B? I do. You know what I'm saying? So when you, when you go through those four things in your chatting process, and this is what I do guys, I make sure again, I don't link them. I don't even ask them usually about my opportunity um, and, and like, you know, sort of divulge any information on it. I'm almost secretive with it um, until I can say, well, hey, it looks like this, because of this, you might be interested in this. So in other words, that helps paint the picture of what the benefits are of getting involved right up front. And you're able to identify that because you've taken the time and chatted and, and gotten to know them a little bit about their current life situation in those four main areas of their life. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, there it is, everybody that's here on the call. If you're watching on the YouTube stream, maybe you're watching the recording of this um, one evening. Maybe you're sitting at your computer right now and you're like, what's this wake up, start your day mindset? What is this all about? Maybe you saw two bald guys on the computer and you're like, what is going on there? Two bald guys <laughs> and a lady, what's that all about? Let me tell you what it's about, okay? That could be a you show. Know, <laughs> I, want, I want everyone to know this because it's important. And, you know, I did, I went through the training. I've, I've gone through all of um, Bill's training on how to talk to people, okay? I don't know what Patricia just said. I know what she said, okay? I've gone through that training. But check this out, guys. This is the deal for me. This is just for me. Bill does it his way. Patricia does it his way. I don't know, Force, List, Chris, make a family picture, someone's a lion, someone's a tiger. Here's the deal. I made a decision because check this out. Everyone had to find their why. I'm super passionate because I think I like re-identified my why and I wasn't really clearly telling people that this is my why because I get so excited, right? Everyone's like, Bert is so happy, so excited. But this is my why. I don't want anyone, nobody 
telling me what to do. Period. Right? I'm like a three-year-old that's like on a tantrum for life. Okay? I don't want anyone telling me what to do. I listen, when I call Bill, Bill is not telling me what to do, right? Bill gives me like powerful suggestions and encouragement, right? But no one tells me what to do. That's the whole reason I need to be an entrepreneur. Can you imagine how great of an employee that is when I show up? Okay, guys, so this is why that's important. When you find your why, you don't have to worry about force or list or if the guy's an owl or if he's like a sparkly cheetah or whatever the hell color chart he is. Because listen, I was calling people and I had a list. Like, I'm supposed to do these questions. This is how I did it. One sentence at a time. I watched the training and Bill would say this. Why don't you ask this question? I would just stop the video. I'm done. I'm <clears throat> done for the day. Until I start asking that question on every call, I'm not going to do anything else. Because check this out. If I try to memorize Bill's whole entire conversation, all five questions, or if I have them written down on a sheet of paper when I'm talking to someone, it'll sound like this. Hey, what's up? It's Bert. So, how's the weather? Oh, that's nice. How's Fred? Oh, great. Did you take the kids to the park? And that's not Bert, okay? I don't talk like that. My mind is all over the place. That's how my conversations go, and that's okay because a while back, I memorized one sentence at a time, and I did it over and over and over again. So somewhere... In Bert's little woohoo crazy story is all the sentences that Bill says too. See? So when I made a decision to actually take the action and I did it repetitively, I just got better. It's not that I'm as good as this guy or I got better than that guy or I'm perfect at this. Is check this out. When I first made a video, I sucked. When I first picked up the phone, it was like a nightmare. I was so scared. I had no idea what I was supposed to say. I was like, hi, you went to my website. That was it. I had nothing. They're like, yeah, I went to a lot of websites. Click. And they would hang up on me, right? That's how it, that, guys, it's a progression. So make that decision, right? Take an action and do it. Focus over and over again. You get all of these different perspectives on how to implement it, right? If you're analytical, like Patricia, you can, you can literally have lists. It will tell you exactly what you've done. I don't even know how to, like, <clears throat> when you become a, when you have mastered your craft, then you'll be like Bill. <clears throat> right, guys? Like, because I'm still, we're still learning. That's the awesome part of having this call. You get, you get to be where you're at. And you get to see different people all using the same general idea and applying it in multiple different ways to get results. So now it's your turn to make a decision and decide, are you going to take action today? That's it. Yes or no. Are you going to take action? Because what you do today is going to determine on whether you get to quit your job. If you want to go in like Bill did and say, hey, this is the gig, dude. I'll be here, but I'm out. I'm done. If you want to be able to do that, right, then you get to pick today. Today's the day right now. So that's it, guys. That's the mindset for today. Thank you, Bill, for um, bringing some I want to awesome say one thing. Oh, Patricia's I just want to say one thing. Go. I know it's time to go, but I just want to say that you got – Bert said don't worry about that stuff, but then he, then he said, hey, that's where he started. He started with a script until he got comfortable, and now he does it intuitively. So he's not saying you don't, ha you know what I'm saying? Like, don't use all that, throw it out the window, don't worry about it. Of if you just, how many phone calls do you think you, Bert, you've made at least, I know, at least 500 phone calls. I don't want to freak everybody out and say like it's like 1,000 or 2,000. But I know oh, you've yeah. made at least I mean, 500 yeah. Calls. Yeah, I mean, at least 500. Okay. This is a deal. I don't know how many, but I'll tell you what, I'm on the phone all the time, right? I'm calling people all the time. And w when I get low, when my battery gets low, or I'm like, oh, that guy just told me something, and now I feel like poopy Bert, right? Like the Bert that can't do it. I'm like, oh, 
I'm like scruffy face shape, you know, I need a shave bird. Like when I get that, and then this is what I do. This is exactly what I do. I just look on my phone and I'm like, oh, there's a guy right here. His name's Bill. I'll call him and tell him. What do I do next? This is usually how it goes. Hey Bill. Yeah, I don't know what's really wrong. I'm a piece of poop. <laughs> oh, did I call people today? No. Did I send people an email? Did I take any action yet? No. Oh, go take action. Okay, I'll call you later when I take action. That's <laughs> it. Like, seriously, that's the breakdown on the call. I hope it's a little bit more sophisticated well, no. than that. No, <laughs> okay, obviously, obviously when Bill gives me direction, there's specific actions that I'm going to take, guys, right? Like, depending on where you're at in your business, right? The, pe the people that you're working with, the people that mentor you, the people that help you, that guide you, they're going to give you specific action. I gave that as a general idea, right? Obviously, Bill is giving me specific steps like, Bert, did you do this? Are you setting yourself up in this way? What actions have you taken to guarantee that you're going to get a result? And at this point, guys, this is what I say to myself. This is what I, that's the disclaimer. This is what I say to myself. This is when, when I take action, if I take actions, this is how I guarantee success. Because in my mind, all results are successful. There is no bad result. The result that just sometimes doesn't come in the way that I imagined it, right? I always imagine it's going to come in the form of, you have a new downline growing, or you have a new bling, 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 something, right? But that's not always the result. So... Now that made that more clear. Awesome. Now we're all just rambling. <laughs> all right, guys. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we're going to talk about why live events are so important in your business this week, how attending live events, how becoming a part of the daily calls, the weekly calls, how scheduling those things into your calendar can change your life. That's what this focus is going to be on this week how you can schedule events daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly into your life to change your business and to change your life. So thank you guys for coming, and we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Bye, guys.